can put up 1 Corinthians 6, 17. Just for a moment. Bishop, give me strict instructions before he left. And I know he's watching, so I'm, I'm a good student. He said, Ray, I want you to share about the shift, the shift in, in going from this building to the new building. We cannot go the same way. There has to be a shift in mindset. And that's all he told me. So my response to him when he said that to me, I said, oh, so you, you want me to stick with John 15, right? He's like, no, 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 no. Just go and see what the Lord says to you. Amen. Don't follow my John 15. And what's behind me is sort of what God spoke to me, 1 Corinthians 6, 17, that he who is joined to the Lord is what? Is one spirit. So, so what, that, what that tells me is I carry the same spirit as the Lord. I didn't say it. Paul said it. He that is joined to the Lord is what? One spirit. I want this to be all of him. I'm standing before you like I, I literally know absolutely nothing and everything, every word, Brother Clement. Uh, Elder Clement uh, prophesied that on Friday night that whoever stands here in the pulpit, did you not say that? Let it be 100% of God. I believe that's what's going to happen today. And God has a message for this church. I know a lot of folks are looking on the internet right now, but God has a specific word for this church, and I believe it's also a word for the body of Christ. And I'm saying, uh, I, I titled this message, it's time to cross over. It's time to cross over. You know, it's, it's, it's a time to declare about the Lord, but if I, if I believe this, that he who is joined with the Lord is one spirit. When I speak about the Lord, I'm also speaking about me. I'm also speaking about you. So let's balance this. I'm not saying I'm the Lord. I'm just saying I carry the same spirit. I'm just saying that first, uh, that Isaiah 61 also applies to me. That the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. It's not just upon the Lord. It's upon me. And he has anointed me to preach the good news. I believe that Isaiah 11, 1 also applies to me and applies to you. That the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord applies to him, but it also applies to me. So if I believe that, then that song that you just sung, Lily Michelle, I'm looking to others within this congregation to be favor. When I say may his favor be upon you, Duval, come here for a second. Come here for a second. Just turn, look, look to the, turn this way. So, so, so let me just give you an example of the favor. This man just happened to hear. Sort of reminds me of that, that story in 1 Kings when they, they heard that David wanted a drink. They just heard, and David didn't ask them for a drink, did they? This man just heard that Bishop needed a tree to be pulled up. He just, ha he just heard it. And what did he do? He, 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 he got on his cell phone and called the county and said, listen, we need a tree pulled up at my bishop's house and with, within a matter of minutes well, that might be stretching it but within a matter of a few hours 
the tree was pulled up. That's the favor of God. So when I say may his favor be upon you. I'm not just looking at him. I'm looking at those that are in the midst. Come here, come here, come here, come here for a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to be very interactive. This is not, yeah, listen, there's only one bulldozer in this house. <laughs> What's your name again? Judy. Judy. So Judy came to pass G and I and a couple of weeks ago and, and, and said, you know, you know, I, I, I want to be, I want to be involved. I want to be involved. I want to do something. I, I think I can, I'm paraphrasing now. I have the mic so I can, I can paraphrase. And you're bigger than me. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And, and so, and Judy said, yeah, I think I can be involved with the online church. Online church hasn't been the same. Amen. Favor. Amen. Favor. Thank you. Favor. Amen. Favor. The books, my sister, come here for a second. Come here, come here. The books. You, you, you starting to see a pattern here? Came here as a visitor, saw the condition of our books. Bishop didn't ask her. She felt it. She felt that this is something that I can do to make a difference in the kingdom. This is, this, is, this is my offering. This is my offering, and I'm going to give willingly. Thank you. I can continue. I can continue, but I'll stop there for now. So we're going to cross over into the revival. Right? We're going to cross over. We're going to change our, our mindset from... In the corporate world, they call this a legacy mindset. That's what they call it. So what's a legacy mindset in the corporate world? A legacy mindset is, yeah, we can, I, I, I'll do things, and I'll do it with excellence, but you have to ask me. That, that's, that's a legacy mindset. Just Google it. Not now, but just Google it later on. And so corporate America is struggling right now. They, they, they want to make a shift from the legacy mindset to the outside of the box mindset and the outside of the box mindset is where they're, 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 they're eradicating hierarchy and everyone is a leader and everyone is a leader and people are, are self-directed that's what we want here that's what we want in the body where everyone has this not just not, a, not that everyone is a servant, but everyone has the spirit of service. Amen. And here's the difference. A servant does things with excellence. But one who has the spirit of a servant looks for things to do. And does it with excellence. I think of my sister, sister Paul Esther, who, who, who months ago was asked to, 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 to lead the followership, followership, you know, following up, following up with folks that are visiting that get the card. I, I don't know about you, but I know there are times that I would visit a church, and I'm talking about before I got saved, and, and I will get a card, and, but I'll never hear from someone after that. She has a whole team that they pray about what to do next. And from what I heard yesterday, they, they don't only want to follow up, they, wanna, they want to, to go all the way from the visitor to the right hand of fellowship. No one asked her to do that. The spirit of service. And here is my message today, very simply. There is no one you prophesy that again on Friday. There is no one in this congregation that doesn't have a gift that is not needed. I said this to you yesterday. I don't ever need to be behind this pulpit 
Because I believe there is enough gifts in me that can occur outside of this pulpit. I never understood that. I never understood how folks just can't wait to get to the mic to preach. I can't. I, and I've, I've been in ministry for 25 years. I've never. Under, it was what, three, four o'clock this morning. I'm, I'm sitting in my office waiting for a word to minister. Why would someone be so anxious to, to do that? I don't understand that. While everyone is asleep, I'm up three, four o'clock this morning just sitting in my office. Waiting. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love this church. I, I, I honestly do. And I was sharing with Pastor G yesterday that um, what drew me to this church was this church. It wasn't the bishop. It was the church. It was the love. The fellowship. And I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just going to be bold and declare today, Pastor Serge. I'm just going to declare that the season of hiding is over. Amen. You know, the, the season of hiding our gifts is over. Notice the pronoun I just used. The season of hiding our gifts. So I'm including myself in that. Is over. We need, we need every gift in making this transition go with me to slide number one uh wiseness wiseness give me to take me to slide one if you want to follow with me you can follow with me you don't, you don't have to i'm i i'm i'm doing the the two, the the six month plan for the bible uh because i want july i told pastor g i want july through december to be a time for, of meditation for me. So I'm going to get my reading January through June 30th. So right now I'm in Chronicles. So that's why you're going to see a lot of scripture in Chronicles. Um, so uh, First Chronicles 22 says, Now David said, Solomon, my son, is young and inexperienced. That's us, y'all. None of us have experience about building a complex, do we? <laughs> Solomon, my son, is, and, and, and as you read this and you see the word son, think plural, think plural, think plural. This, this, so we're going to use David and, and Solomon as, 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 as a metaphor for, for our church. Solomon, my son, is young and inexperienced, and the house to be built. Do we have a house to be built, y'all? And the house to be built for the Lord must be what? Exceedingly magnificent. Now, if you know anything about our bishop, this house that is about to be built is going to be what? Exceedingly magnificent. Famous and glorious throughout all countries. All countries will hear about Miracle Center in Westminster. I will now make preparation for it. And that's what God is saying. I will make preparation for it. Now my son may, remember what we said earlier about 1 Corinthians 6, 17. That he that is drawn with the Lord is one spirit. So as we read this, think about your neighbor. Think about yourself. Now, my son, may the Lord be with you. May you prosper and build the house. Now, I don't know about you. When I looked at that, 
there is only one condition to build a house and it's may the Lord be with you there is not a list of things there there's only one thing Dr. Bryce may the Lord be with you now if we read that with a legacy mind we will read that as the Lord but if we read that from a place of present truth, brother, we will read it. At, that's including me. According to 1 Corinthians 6, 17. That's including me. According to Ephesians 2, 6. We're not going to go there, but Ephesians 2, 6 says that we are seated with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. If I'm seated with him and I'm joined with him, I'm one spirit with him, that when it says the Lord, it also applies to me. Now, my son, turn to your neighbor and say, hello, son. Now, my son, may the Lord be with you. That's the only condition, Sister Terry. That's the only condition. May the Lord be with you and may you prosper and build the house of the Lord your God. And he has said to you as he has said to you so God is saying it's times for, for the sun in us to rise this is a prophetic message God is speaking prophetically to me to us to those our online church not because you're online, that doesn't mean we don't need you here. Yes, we need you here. And if we tap into this revelation, if we tap into this, then absolutely we will be debt free. But if we look at this as us and the Lord, then we always will be aspirational. We'll be aspiring to. As opposed to flowing from. Next verse. Only may the Lord. He's saying it again. Only may the Lord give you what? Wisdom and understanding. So in this. I, I, I know Isaiah 6. I know Isaiah 11. 1 gives us 6. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, might knowledge fear of the Lord but for right now what we need from the sons are wisdom and understanding sister Paul I said what I need from you what the eldership needs from you is wisdom and understanding because based upon the population in this house you think we need to follow up now Wait till we get there. So we're going to need wisdom and understanding to follow up with our visitors. As an example, it's just an example of one of the gifts that is in the house. Evangelist Freddie. We're going to need wisdom and understanding. You may not even need to go on the street at 2.30. There'll be so many visitors that you will have a whole room just for yourself to evangelize. And we're going to need wisdom. And understanding. I love it. He says only. Only may the Lord give you wisdom and understanding. And give you charge concerning Israel. Concerning the church. That you may keep the law of the Lord. 
your God. And we know what the law of the Lord is. It's love. You should love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And if there's anything we need in this transition, we need love. I think the last time I had this mic, I said, there are going to be times that you might offend someone unknowingly. We don't need to carry grudges, man. We don't need to carry grudges. I'm not going to call names, but I... <laughs> I bumped some heads in this house. <laughs> but it lasted like this because of the love. Amen. Yeah, that, 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 that should get a hand clap. Because, because it, the love, it covers what? A multitude of what? Of sin. And what is sin? Whatsoever is not of faith is sin. And what is, what is not a faith? When you have that insatiable thirst to be right? Do you know some folks just have an insatiable, don't, don't point anyone. Do you know some folks just have an insatiable thirst to be right? When you are caught up, you have just become emotionally hijacked. And in, the, in those moments, we may miss it. There is not a man that has not fallen. Keep the law of the Lord your God. Be strong and courageous. That's when you need courage. When you know someone has done you wrong and you have to still show them love, that requires courage. Be strong and courage. Do not fear. Do not fear, Bishop, about this budget. Do not fear. Nor be dismayed. I love verse 15. Oh, I love verse 15. That's, that's us, y'all. Verse 15 says, Moreover, there are workmen with you. Workmen. Or oh, they say in abundance. Yeah, in abundance. Woodsmen and Stone cutters, I like the last part though, and all types of skillful men and women for what kind of work? For every kind of work. And just to let you know, that's the new King James. That's not even the TPT. It's plain, even with the new King James. So we need you. Every kind of work. I'm still learning names, y'all, so, so please forgive me. Sister, what's your name again? Lynn. Sister Lynn, you have a gift of many. I'm only going to talk about one. God has given you the gift of literature and English and grammar. We're going to be writing a lot of memos when we move. A lot of memos when we move. We need our own copywriter. We need our own person to test to make sure that this is grammatically correct because we want things to be done with excellence. We don't want to write something and it says, and, and, right? <laughs> All kind of skills. All types of skillful men and women. That's what the Lord gave me, y'all. I didn't get a text from Bishop. I didn't get a scripture. I didn't get a verse. He just said, Ray, I want you to talk about the shift in the mindset from where we are to where we're going. And I waited and waited. 
I thought I was going to preach on the prayer of Jabez. But then the Lord shifted that. He said, for another time. That's not for today. That's why they sound the sound blessing. Because Jabez said, bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. So up until like midnight last night, I'm thinking I'm going to talk about the blessing. And then he said, uh-uh, you're not going to talk about that. And I was like, okay, so what am I going to talk about? Just wait. Just wait. Had my slides already done. That's why I was so relaxed at your house <laughs> yesterday. Because I'm thinking that's what he's gonna, I'm going to minister on. And he said, nope, you're not going to minister on that. You guys with me? Can you sense the shift? So he that is joined with the Lord, please write that down. If you don't write anything down, write that down. 1 Corinthians 6, 17. He that is joined with the Lord, so that no one accuse me of heresy, right? He that is joined with the Lord is one spirit. And the same spirit that is upon the Lord, that is upon the vine, you notice I, I, I got to squeeze that John 15 in there. The same spirit that is upon the vine is upon the branch. The same spirit that is upon the Lord, evangelist, is upon me. 